Hello. Today, we're talking about injecting a .NET object into JavaScript using .NET Browser. First, we need to create and configure a WPF solution with .NET Browser. First of all, we need to create a WPF project, then add the .NET Browser Nugget package and the valid license file as an embedded resource. You can find detailed instructions in the previous tutorials. Check out the links under this video. And now, we need to mark up the main window. Let's add the XML namespace for the .NET Browser WPF library in the main window XAML. After that, create the WPF Browser View component and define its name. Now we're going to implement the main window behavior. So define the public .NET object class. Then define the public void handle message method with the message argument. Inside this method, begin invoking the message box show method using the current dispatcher. The current dispatcher is required because the JavaScript side calls injected objects from the non-UI thread. Now you need to create the browser finish loading frame event handler. Inside the handler, check that the loaded frame is the main frame. Then create the JS value, JS window variable. And get the window object from the JavaScript side using the browser execute JavaScript and return value method. Inject the new instance of the .NET object class using the JS object set property method. After subscribing to the finish loading frame event, call the browser load URL method with the path to the HTML file, which will be created in the next step. Let's create an HTML file. So add a new HTML file to the solution and call it index.html. Change the copy to output directory property value to copy always. Add the text input with the text box ID value. Add a button and call the call.net function in the onclick handler. Add the script section. Define the call.net function. Get the text from the text box element. And then call the window.net object handle message method. The name of the window property we're calling corresponds to the name of the register.net object. Now you can build and launch your application. Thanks for watching.